For the third year in a row, you're getting a little help this holiday season to make sure the toys under the tree aren't going to make your child sick. A group in Ann Arbor tested about 700 toys and found the number of them containing lead is actually dropping. But one in three tested still contain one or more harmful chemicals, including lead, or arsenic, or mercury. Now, to find out if your kid's toy is on that list, go to WNEM.com and check out the link on our Wednesday Hot Links section. But while you can keep track of the toys at home, what about your child's daycare or school? What are they doing to make sure that the toys there are safe? Our T. Ewing takes a look at that, all new at 5. The classroom is a place where kids learn, but that isn't all. They play here, too. Toys supplied and bought by the school. There's no secret that toys have been recalled from abroad. And here at home makes you wonder how safe are toys in your kid's classroom. Scientists have found that any amount of lead in toys for kids isn't healthy. That's why here at the International Academy of Flint, they're making sure that kids are safe. We make sure that um, there's no lead containing in any of them. Some toys contain lead that can affect your child's learning, impacting brain development. Bromine can do the same thing along with chlorine, which can affect your child's growth. Ryan Tomlinson's been teaching kids for three years, and he has kids of his own. He expects all the toys on the shelves to be safe. I have a one-year-old at home, and I want to make sure my son is going to be safe no matter what. I mean, if I go to the store to buy a product, I expect it to be safe for my child. But there's nothing in place that makes a toy maker in the state responsible for telling you if toxins are in your kid's toys. But right now, Brewing and Lansing, a new law could come down that will change all of that. It's called Michigan Children's Safe Products Act. The hope is to keep your kids safe and allow them the chance to grow up to become healthy adults. Reporting in Flint, TV.